going into this final round. And a birdie for him at the second, the par five, sees him move to 15 under. And it is Marcus Kinnault. Over to three, second shot at this shortish par four for Kinnault. Looking pretty solid. Pin only on 10, guarded by bunkers down the right. Well, he's in Fleetwood country there, isn't he? I saw it a couple of times yesterday. They didn't seem to be able to feel the breeze. So, par part for Kinnault, a little tester. Three of that length hold in the first four holes for Marcus Kinnell. Oh, but not a particularly impressive third shot. Got the big stick out as you would on the sixth. No fairway bunkers, quite a wide target area. Oh, no. Keeping his rhythm very well. If you get twitchy, that's the first thing that goes, is the rhythm. Things tend to get a bit quicker and a bit snatchier. If he goes with the eight, he's got to leave this right and short of the flag. We've certainly done that. A little too <coughs> short and right. He's almost going up a ridge left to right, but then it will turn the other way. Fine effort from the young Swede. Eagle the 11th into that hole, one over power on his round, then added three more birdies. Let's go to Kinnock, the leader, at the seventh. Yeah, beauty, good shot there. Brave. Traction uphill. One birdie, no drop shots through the first seven for Kinnault. Yeah, right hand pop bunk is a good line. That's very well played with the pin front right, just three from the edge. That's in good shape. Minute, you've got a little strong draft. There was a strong breeze just before Kinholt played. Similar yardage, little gap wedge, nicely done. Kinholt. Oh, good opportunity to stretch his lead to two, but it was a good putt. He did say in his interview he sees himself as a strategic player, which uh, is maybe why he does so well on Lynx courses. You've got to have a plan and you've got to be able to execute it. Perfect there. 168, wind off the left and everything sloping from the middle of the green to the flag. Another good shot. Marcus Kinholt. This would be his second birdie of the nine, and if he had hit it, he definitely would have had it. <laughs> Back nine Sunday. <coughs> and this is where all the nerves of the week percolate. Right foot slipped there on the way down, and it looked like it slipped a bit behind him. And I don't know if it was a result of that, but he's left it way out there. I saw it trundling down the hill. I think it's okay. But he's just had eight holes without a birdie, which is his longest streak of the week. And that was a good shot, but that sort of elevated green to that for that chip. Real green to work with. Should be looking to get it very close.
Pinault at the 11th. So he joins Wallace at 16 under. Still going toe to toe. But doesn't have a great view of the flag. Bunker between him and the stick. 158 all up, right to left breeze. Oh, that's a super duper shot. He should be able to control it. Think about middle of the green. Yeah, he's got to be a little careful here. I think middle of the green's a great plan because just beyond the hole, it drops off to the back fringe, so that is a smart play. Sticking to his game plan, Kinholt, iron off the tee here, even though they're off a forward tee, not <laughs> risking taking the bunkers on. And I think that's a smart play because he can play a full shot into the front flag and get some spin. 141, little right of the flag required. Looked like he played it a little further back in his stance and hit down on it, and he did it extremely well. Good shot. That'll be an uphill putt from there. A chance of a birdie. Well played. Well, big hit if you take on the corner of the dog leg here with the four bunkers down the left side. 280 to get over the furthest one and into a little bit of breeze. Oh, that's a good hit for him. He's sneaky long. It's like a milky bar kid only just ripping it out there. Kennelt second to 15. 139. Oh, that's a really poor shot to miss the green with the wedge. Strange that he's got the flag out. He's got a putt with the flag in when they're on the green, green when you've got a monster putt from off the green from 70 feet. You have it out. I would have thought it would have been a plan to leave it in. You get it. Well, he's kept his routine the same. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. First dropped shot today for Marcus Kinnott. Yeah, from in the middle of the fairway with a wedge. That looks good. Oh. Playing for the runner. Missed the slope. Huge putt this to avoid back-to-back -back bogeys. Oh no. Didn't threaten. It is, I'm afraid, two gone in two holes for Kinnault. He slides back to 14 under alongside Pepperell. One behind Matt Wallace. So it's produced great champions. Kinnault down 17. Mark James, don't forget Mark James. How could I? My goodness. Where the heck has that gone? Oh my goodness, that is an absolute wide. No question, that's nerves. He hasn't hit anything like that for a couple of days. Has to get this up and down to keep his chances yes. alive. Okay. Bet your bottom dollar, Wallace is going to make four. Yeah, that's not badly played, it was a difficult shot. Birdie part for Kennelt. Is he actually going to hold a putt today? Go on. Go on, oh, yes brave lad. Oh, we've been waiting for him to hold one. Well done, young man. Fantastic putt. So he's back to 15 under, alongside Pepperell and Wallace. They get plenty of run. Wide fairway though, wind off the left. It is the three word, it's down the left wing. Oh, it's fine though. If it just hangs on to the short stuff, makes a big difference. Oh yes, lovely drive. Yeah, I got a good distance out of it too, so uh, absolutely fine there. Yeah. 193 off a downslope for Kinholt. Plenty of green to work with. Looked a good swing. Oh, right.
right at it. A putt to go, 16 under for Marcus Pinnell. Well, he's been calm and collected. Just a bit of a wobble on this back nine, 15, 16. What's he made of? Oh, he got it! Brilliant! He is made of ice, and it is a breakthrough victory at Hillside for Marcus Kennelt. With a birdie, birdie finished after those drop shots at 15 and 16. Marcus, many congratulations. This year's Betfred British Masters winner, an incredible day for you. You made us think maybe at one point there might be a playoff in it. Well, uh, yeah, there were a lot of scenarios, I guess, uh, going down the last um, uh, four guys at 15 under. So I'm just ha really happy now to, to manage to pull it off and to, to make the birdie and, and the putt on the last. Early on in the round, you looked very comfortable. You were holding some, I think, three or four putts from about five, six feet in the first five holes, which a clear indication you, you weren't worried out there. Well, uh, no, it was a rocky start, I guess. Uh, made those clutch putts, which was uh, huge, I think, uh, at that moment. And then, uh, yeah, just played solid uh, throughout the round and all of a sudden uh, made two bogeys, which wasn't ideal, but uh, yeah, the finish was great. Did you feel any momentum shift between you and Matt around 13 and, and 15? Uh, it was so close all day in between us, so uh, it was a bit like a match play yeah. between us and then Bob and uh, Eddie play well on the uh, on the back line so they uh, uh, they were up there as well um, but uh, it was nice to play with Matt he, he's a great guy and uh, a good competitor so uh, yeah it was good fun. Back to back birdies incredible especially coming off the back to back bogeys did you have any doubt in your mind walking off 16 that maybe you've let this gone away? A lot <laughs> to be honest yeah uh, that was tough uh, uh, just tried to uh, you know, stay patient, composed, and uh, somehow I, I made those two last birdies. So. This is your first win and your 52nd appearance for the European Tour, following Alex Norin, the third Swede to win this tournament. What does it mean for you and all? Yeah, it's big. Uh, this is a very prestigious event and a, a nice little trophy to have. And uh, to get it as my, my first win is, uh, is special. It's special. What was it like with the fans out there? I know a lot of them would have been rooting for the likes of Eddie Pepper or Matt Wallace, the homeboys, but it was a fantastic day all round, it seemed. The crowds were great. I never felt that they were uh, supporting them in a different way because uh, I felt the support myself, uh, which was uh, great. And uh, yeah, the crowds were uh, really good this week. Will you be celebrating tonight? I think so, yeah. Uh, we'll see what, we, what we'll, we'll do, but uh, some celebration for sure, yeah. Congratulations. If you want to watch another European Tour video, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here.